First Alert forecast only on Fox 47 News at 10. If you are a stargazer, tonight looks like a perfect night for it. We've got some clear skies out there. Yeah, you know, I just peeked my head out of the studio door and beautiful clear skies here in Lansing. It's not the same story just about everywhere. You see, taking a look at our current conditions, there are a few passing clouds around the Jackson area. Everyone still fairly mild, all things considered. It is the end of February, so temperatures in the upper 30s as we head into the 10 o'clock hour are well above average. In fact, those temperatures are above what we would be averaging for our high temperatures this time of year. But when you factor in the winds, it's feeling like we are a little bit closer to normal with everyone feeling like they're down towards that 30 degree mark. But those clear skies, they will be reflected in our satellite and radar image. We had the skies clear up very nicely for the sunset tonight. And aside from a few stray snow flurries and a couple of passing clouds right now, everyone still staying very clear and even all that activity you're seeing on there, most of it not even making it to the ground. Now when we zoom things out, you'll see a little bit better picture of what's going on. Kind of have these two fronts, one to our north and one to our south. Both of them causing a little bit of precipitation, but we're more or less sliding right into the middle of it as we head through the night tonight. And that'll be leading to a nice clear start to our day. So it looks like we have the clear skies around for most of the night. Just a few passing clouds into those early morning hours on Monday. But waking up on Monday, we'll have a lot of sunshine around once again. And it looks like we keep at least a few peaks of sunshine around throughout the day on Monday. But by the time we get into Monday evening, we are definitely noticing a few more clouds filtering into the area. Maybe a brief rain shower, but most of us stay dry through the night on Monday. Better chances for rain do arrive as we get into the day on Tuesday. We have another system that is approaching us, kind of giving us a, that one two punch of a warm front and then a cold front. Initially, the rain showers look like they're heading to our north, so some of us north of I-96 probably get those rain showers. Those of you south of 96, you might be staying dry for most of the day on Tuesday, but we all eventually end up with the rain showers by Tuesday night, and it looks like we could be dealing with a fair amount of rain. Again, we are watching a cold front push through the area after we warm up into the 50s, and that'll be bringing in some heavier downpours at times, possibly even some thunderstorms, especially farther towards the south. So areas like Coldwater, Hillsdale, and Adrian, you could be dealing with some rumbles of thunder through the night Tuesday into Wednesday. Once we get into the day on Wednesday, though, the cold front has swept out of our area, brought the rain with it. So aside from a few lingering rain showers, we should be dry. That is until we start to cool down enough to pick up on some more lake effect snow showers by Wednesday night. And our temperatures, and they're a bit of a roller coaster. The high of 55 on Tuesday, the high of 46 on Wednesday actually will occur into the overnight hours, and we'll see those temperatures drop throughout the day. We'll be in the 20s by the end of the work week. So for tonight, a low of 28 degrees with just a few passing clouds and the chance of a stray flurry. We'll be up to 42 degrees by the lunch hour tomorrow. Nice sunny morning, very mild as well. The temperatures ultimately top out in the upper 40s, but again, we are looking for the clouds to return by the evening hours tomorrow. And in your three-day forecast that eventually leads to some rain showers, possibly some thunderstorms on Tuesday, then we get that big cool off as we head into the day on Wednesday. 46 degrees is your high on Wednesday with temperatures falling throughout the day. That will change any lingering rain showers over into snow showers. And we will have to deal with some scattered snow showers for both Thursday and Friday as well. With temperatures topping out only in the 20s and 30s. Overall, despite the rain, snow should be a nice week. Yeah, it really shouldn't be too bad. Pretty much what you should expect for the end of February and the start of March. All right, spring's right around the corner. It sure certainly is. Jim, thank you. Tonight's Pump Patrol.